Imagine with me for a moment. What if Gaston never tripped and fell to his doom in Beauty and the Beast? What if he had a second chance to turn his life around? What if instead of being the conceited, misogynistic, arrogant villain we know, he became a selfless town hero who spent his days helping others with his best friend by his side. Today, I'm attempting to uncorrupt another Disney villain, to redeem a life of bad choices through art and to see if we can rewrite Gaston's story in a single coloring page. The first time I did this, I transformed Ursula and found some good techniques to work within the coloring book to remove the black lines and create our new art. But I went through three different black fine liners because the tips did not like the white paint pen underneath and it was destroying them. So today I do need to keep this in mind and find a different process. It's hard to find a good Disney villain coloring book without all the horrible extra black lines like these coloring books designed for adults. So instead, I'm going back to my kids coloring books. Instead of drawing straight on the page, I want to get a bit more creative, so I'm using my iPad and the Procreate app to create some draft ideas first. Because I can erase or undo my work as I go, this gives me a lot more flexibility to experiment with different ideas before committing to what I want to draw on my actual page. And when I'm ready, I know exactly which lines I need to remove and where I want to add my new details. Gaston is a little different to some of our other Disney villains. He doesn't have magic or turn into a giant dragon genie or octopus. In fact, he's well loved by his entire town. Somewhat of a town hero. He's handsome, all right, and rude and conceited. And, and we all know how the story goes. He's self-absorbed, manipulative, arrogant, and a total misogynist. And he'll do anything to marry Belle, whether she wants him or not but at least he can sing. So this guy doesn't just need a change of scenery. He needs a change in his entire attitude towards life. If we're going to find some good in Gaston and his friend LeFou, we need to start by stripping back their egos. So it's time for Gaston to quit his job at the tavern and give his life to a service of volunteer work as a firefighter. It's time for these two troublemakers to put their selfish ways aside and focus on helping others by putting out fires rather than starting them. The black fine liners are working so much better today, and that's because I've taken a completely different approach this page. After covering the original lines with white, I actually applied two layers of transparent gesso and waited a whole day before coming back to do these details in black. With Ursula, I did the black details first and came back to do the gesso at the end, and it's definitely made a difference. My only problem is if I need to make any more changes with white, I'll need to add more gesso and wait a whole nother day. And actually, I think this is going to be a problem because while I'm here trying to redeem our villain, I think my coloring page now needs some redeeming. I should have sketched this out, but instead I went straight in with my black pen and now it just looks... I need to fix this. Well, I think I've successfully stripped his ego because right now he looks more like an awkward Ken doll. I think I might need to rework some of these details. Okay, I've made some more changes, added some more paint, and I'm a little happier with the final result. Even if Gaston doesn't look as muscular as he usually does because his firefighter uniform probably should be baggier. At this point, I have made a lot of changes to this page and with the gesso, the paper is actually handling it surprisingly well. But my option here is to wait another day and keep working on this in the coloring book or I can make a photocopy 
and I can keep coloring right away. So we're breaking out of the book and I've copied this to some better quality paper to see what we can create from here. I've never really drawn or colored fire before, so I wanted to find a good reference photo that can help me to choose my colors to create a really impactful scene. And I decided to see what AI would come up with. Dali gave me some good ideas for colors, but it was the art from Mid Journey that really got me excited. The detail and colors were beautiful. And so I'm taking a few of these as general inspiration for my scene. And again, sketching out a basic concept on my iPad first to help me visualize what I'm trying to achieve before getting out my pencils. And it's finally time to get out my colored pencils. And after comparing over 4,000 pencils in my latest video, it only seemed right that today I would be using one of the best pencils in the world, the Caran d'Ache Luminance. Often when I'm coloring in books like this, I like to do an undercoat of markers first before working with my pencils. But when I'm using a pencil like the Caran d'Ache Luminance, I want to give these pencils a chance to shine all on their own. Whenever I use these pencils, I find myself wondering why I don't use them more often. And even though I'm finding this background concept challenging, I am enjoying the process. Seeing Gaston as a volunteer firefighter really does feel like the best representation of a change of heart for a character like this. Here in Australia, we are no strangers to bushfires and the impact they have on the environment, wildlife, and the communities they've destroyed over the years. About 800 people have died from bushfires in Australia across the years, along with billions of animals. I personally visited some of the communities that were destroyed after the Black Saturday fires in 2008 and 2009. 173 people died in these fires and over 7,500 people were left without a home. I visited one of these towns with friends who were sent to cheer up the families, dressed up as mascots and fun characters to bring a smile to the kids. I remember a young boy running to hug me while I wore a giant dog mascot. And as he hugged me, he asked if I could be his dog because his real dog had died in the fire. I have a huge respect for the work that our firefighters do. Being a firefighter is one of the most selfless jobs and that's why for me, this feels like the perfect chance at redemption for Gaston and LeFou who need to start putting other lives before their own. Firefighters don't just put out fires, they are role models, they rescue, they are ready to help the community at any moment. Many of them are volunteers. They regularly put their own life at risk to save the lives of others. Just about everything we could say about Gaston from the original movie of Beauty and the Beast is the opposite of what we'd say about the life of a firefighter. Maybe that's why Gaston here is looking a little anxious and out of his depth. He's having a serious reality check at the fact that there is a world outside himself, a moment of realization that other people matter and he needs to step up. Meanwhile, his friend LeFou is just happy to be doing anything with his best friend and mentor because LeFou will follow Gaston wherever life leads him. So if we can change Gaston's heart, we can change LeFou's heart too. This page has definitely brought some new challenges. Drawing a fiery background, drawing characters with backlighting, and now drawing water. All of these are a step out of my comfort zone, but that's what makes a challenge like this interesting. And I think I am really happy with the final transformation of this page. We haven't just taken a kid's coloring page and turned it into a piece of art today. We've taken two broken characters full of hatred and terrible life choices and given them a chance to redeem themselves with a new outlook on life. A chance to put out fires instead of starting them, to be the heroes 
not the villains. And if we can do this for Gaston, I think we definitely need to keep this trend going and find some more villain colouring pages to uncorrupt.